good morning children welcome to chemistry class children let us move towards the another point of the lesson number 6 metallurgy that is extraction of aluminium uh, by using the process bears process with the help of bears process in that the first step is dressing of the ore before moving that let us move towards the ores let us know about the main or important ore of aluminium the first is bauxite and its chemical name is hydrated aluminum oxide formula is al2o3 twice h2o another ore is creolite its chemical name is sodium aluminate fluoride and its formula is na3alf6 the third one is corundum its chemical name is aluminum oxide and formula is al2o3 now let us move towards the first step of extraction of aluminum that is bears process in that the first point is that conversion of conversion of impure bauxite to sodium aluminate the first step is called as dressing of ore and uh, to the concentrated ore this is your first step in which conversion of impure bauxite to alum sodium aluminate we have to do that now the in that let us see the reaction in the reaction impure bauxite that is al2o3 twice h2o it will treated with conk solution of naoh that is a base this is the amphoteric oxide and this is the base concentrated base we will heat this mixture at degree at about the uh, heat up to the degree 150 to 200 continuously then when this both the reactant impure bauxite and concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide they will react then it will gives us sodium aluminated that is nothing but a salt and it will gives us water as a by product okay now what is the function of sodium hydroxide why we have taken this sodium hydroxide in it because bauxite is reacted with uh, conk solution of sodium hydroxide under the pressure for almost 2 hours and then only we will get the pure aluminum oxide because of this what will happen the impurity which is present in it it will settle down now which are the impurity the impurity it may be iron oxide silica some mud and some other thing then as we know that bauxite this impure bauxite is nothing but a, it's a amphoteric in nature okay and it react with the base for forming the salt and because of this what will happen because of this because of the reaction all the impurity it will settle down and we can remove it very easily now another step is conversion of sodium aluminate to aluminum hydroxide second step first step is conversion of impure bauxite to sodium aluminate second step is conversion of sodium aluminate to aluminum hydroxide in that what will happen the sodium aluminate which we have already prepared in the first reaction it will hydrolyze by adding water in it and we have to heat this mixture up to 50 to 60 degrees celsius then it will gives us sodium hydroxide and aluminum hydroxide okay the reactant sodium aluminate it will get hydrolyzed by adding water in it and we have to heat this mixture up to 50 degree to 60 degree celsius then it will gives us sodium hydroxide and aluminum hydroxide okay now here this sodium aluminate we have to we have to hydrolyze it we have to make it dilute why we have to make it dilute because if it uh, remain concentrated then here sodium uh, aluminum hydroxide which we have instead of that uh, this is in a liquid form if we have not hydrolyzed this sodium aluminate then we will get a crystal of aluminum hydroxide that's why water it should be adding in is and when in the sodium aluminate water is added and the crystal of aluminum hydroxide are added to it for the further precipitation then that process is called as seeding okay now the third step is conversion of aluminum hydroxide to pure alumina by heating it okay now in that what will happen this aluminum hydroxide it will heat it up to 1100 degrees celsius continuously then it will gives us 
pure alumina and water it will come out in the form of a vapor so there are three main steps involved in this that the first conversion of impure bauxite to sodium aluminate second conversion of sodium aluminate to so aluminum hydroxide and the conversion of aluminum hydroxide to pure alumina these are the three important reactions which involves in the bear process this is very important um, process and many a time it is asked in the exam so you prepared it very nicely and try to remember all these three steps or the three reaction it should be balanced till then children take care stay home stay safe